Hey everyone, it's me, Domsky. Welcome back to the Maybelline Makeup Loft. Today I'm going to be creating two looks. Half of my face is going to be an everyday and natural look, and half of my face is going to be more of the Instagram bold, kind of like... Instagramable makeup look. So as you guys know, the everyday makeup look is super, super different to what you guys see on Instagram. Instagram has a bold brows, full coverage foundation, a full coverage concealer, powder, bold lipstick, whereas the everyday natural look is just very light coverage, very faint, and the colors are not as vibrant because we are trying to go for the everyday look. Before we start off today, make sure to subscribe to the Maybelline Makeup Loft down below and also click that notification bell so you guys can get notified every time Maybelline Makeup Loft posts videos like this. And also leave a comment on which videos you guys want to see next. And now let's get into it. I'm going to be taking the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Fit Me Foundation. I'm in the shade 330 and when it says fit me, this literally fits me. This is the perfect shade for me. I really don't need to uh, like mix up my shades just to get the perfect shade. This is totally a must when it comes to the everyday natural look because it's really sheer and you can also blend it up for the full coverage look. Um, which is perfect for this look because I'm going to be doing half Instagram and then half natural. I've got a lot of foundation in the back of my hand but... We're gonna be doing the side first. I'm gonna be doing the everyday look here and just dabbing this with a brush. I feel like with a brush, you can really control the coverage. And, and if you put too much foundation on with a brush, you could always share it out by like adding more pressure. Moving on to the Instagrammable side. I'm gonna be piling on my foundation. I do this normally because with my creative looks, I want my skin to look super poreless, which this foundation does, and I want it to be matte. And you can only ever achieve that look by just having a more full coverage application. And this brush technique actually helps with that as well. Kind of cute. My foundation is looking so cute right now. I lean more over to the uh, full coverage side rather than the like natural side because I do Instagram a lot. But I'm kind of like, I'm kind of loving this natural look, honestly. Like, wow. But I'm gonna be, con I'm gonna be concealing with the Instant Age Rewind. I'm in the shade Golden Dore, and as expected with the Instagram look, it's gonna be more full coverage. So more is more Instagrammable, I guess, for me in my opinion. I'm gonna be taking this and literally taking a lot of that, a little bit on the chin, on the forehead. This is just to like highlight and like give the illusion of like a lifted face. I'm gonna be dragging the concealer all the way up to my cheekbones. And on the natural side, I'm literally gonna take like a molecule of this concealer because it's so full coverage. I'm gonna be taking this on my under eye bags right here just to brighten up my mustache area again. A bit here and just to brighten outside the eye part right here. Taking a sponge again, I'm going to be blending out this side first because it's the natural side. I don't want to put any more product into the sponge. And I'm going to be looking down at my mirror and just literally sheer this coverage out. And on the Instagram side, I'm going to be focusing the coverage more on the inner part of my face just to give that illusion. And just dabbing here for like a good 20 seconds until all of that has settled into my skin. Up next, I'm going to be powdering my face. This is where a lot of people can do a little bit too much and make their base look kind of powdery and kind of dry. I'm going to be taking the Handy Dandy Fit Me Loose Powder shade 20 Light Medium. And my principle for powder is always like one-on-one -on -one ratio. However much like wet product I put is the amount of powder I put just to make it even. When it comes to setting the base later on, it's literally going to look like skin because of the one-to-one -one ratio. And yeah, you guys will see later on. Starting off for the Instagram side, I'm gonna be dousing my sponge. This is a damp sponge. Taking a lot of powder actually, and then just taking off the excess on my hand and just stabbing this into the full coverage side just to cement everything in. The outer perimeter of my face, I'm gonna be taking this massive brush and just like beating my face with it. And on the five head as well. So that's the Instagram side all powdered up, lock and loaded, cemented on. And on the natural side, the difference is pressure, the amount of powder you use, and the brush that you use. This brush is really fluffy and it's kind of like, I think it's natural hair brush. And you can literally just like tap wherever you crease and wherever you shine. I don't really necessarily set my everyday makeup look like all over because I want that glow from within look, as I said before. So I literally just use a brush. And then I set my under eyes, quick and easy, one, two, three, 
And that is it, like, I do not set my everyday makeup look that much. Taking the City Bronzer in the shade 200 Medium Cool, lightly going in and tapping the excess and just stamping this underneath where our cheekbone is just to emphasize and give lift. This side is looking so sculpted. We're gonna be showing some love to the everyday look as well. Um, we're gonna be putting the bronzer where the sun hits us the most, which is the top here. Literally just grabbing the smallest stem out because everyday makeup look it has to be here. After we are all bronzed up, I'm going to be taking the Cheek Hate Blush in the shade Berry Flame, following the same principles, more on the side and less on the side. Alrighty, so I've done my brows off camera. I zoomed you guys a little bit closer so you guys can see the eyeshadow part. But before we start on the eyeshadow, I use the Brow Ultra Slim on this side of my brows just to fill in and define. As a natural side, I just use the Brow Fat Sculpt. This is literally just a clear brow gel just to brush my hair up, having that fluffy brow effect. So I'm going to be diving into the Lemonade Craze palette today. And on the natural side, I'm going to be taking the shade Sweet Tea, which is right here, and just running that across my eye. And I'm going to be taking Citrus, which is this cute little shimmer right here. And why not, you know? For an everyday look, why can't we have shimmer? Ooh, that is pigmented. Wait. That's a little too much. I'm going to shear it out a little. So that is the natural look all done for the eyeshadow. I'm going to be taking the same palette again, taking the shade Old Fashioned and just stamping this in. And I forgot to mention I actually used the same concealer as my eye base today, putting a thicker layer on the Instagram side. And yeah, we're just going to be stamping this on. Also taking that Carl Punch shade and just blending out the Old Fashioned shade. I'm just taking the shade Sugar Coated from that palette again and just spotlighting the center of the lid. And look how foiled this eyeshadow is. And I'm going to be lining the lash line using the Tattoo Liner shade Bold Brown just for the lashes to settle on later. So this is the eye look all done. I basically did the same to the bottom as I did to the top. Same shimmers and same, shame, sorry, same colors. I'm gonna be taking the Falsies Lash Lift Mascara next and just applying a thick, a thick, thick layer of mascara on the Instagram side. So that is both of the eye looks all done. This is the Instagram side. It's super bold, super saturated with color, whereas the everyday natural side is more of the muted side. Just warm bronze and a little bit of shimmer. Going back to the face, I'm going to be starting off with highlighter. This is honestly one of my favorites from Maybelline. This is the Master Chrome in the shade Molten Gold. And with the Instagram side, we are literally going to dig our brush in there. Blending highlight is what you're going to see off a lot in Instagram as well. And literally, this is a beam of highlight, like, you guys, that is so pretty. And on the natural side, ever so slightly, I'm going to be just like, like, just popping it on, like, literally just being so gentle, because too much highlight can, like, give away the fact that you are a lot of foundation. Now we're going on to the lips. I'm going to be taking the Superstay Ink Crayon in the shade 20. This is literally my favorite shade out of all the shades that they have. And one time I ate a lot of chicken wings and I had a lot of oil in my lips and this still did not budge. And for the natural side, we're just going to go for a little flush of color by using the Baby Lips color in the shade Berry Crush. And literally just having that... Ooh, kind of moment, like the color. <laughs> so that is it for the lips. To finish off the look, I'm going to be taking the Maybelline Lasting Fix Setting Spray, shaking it first, and then just, ooh. And to dry off my setting spray, I literally use a mini portable fan. It's so cute. 
So that is it for me, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in in this video. I enjoyed creating these two looks so much. Comment down below which one you like better. I personally like this side better, not being biased, because I really do like the full coverage look. But I love the natural side just as much as the Instagram side, because I really do like wearing just sheer coverage makeup, just the glow from within look here and there. So if you guys like the video, make sure to go click the like button down below. I love creating these two looks so much. And again, make sure to go comment which side you like better. And that is it for me, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.